Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be walking through using the Ask SDK Express adapter to set up a custom service for an Alexa skill. And if you're not familiar with Express, it is a uh, popular Node.js framework for building web apps and APIs. And I recently had a uh, a project that I was working on where we wanted to create a, an Alexa skill and an, a, a Google action, and we wanted to use the, the same API to service both of those, same backend to service both of those. So normally when you set up an Alexa skill, a lot of times you're using like um, a Lambda function for the backend, and that's kind of the default. Most of the examples out there use that, but you can also use uh, an external service. And in this case, that's what we're going to be doing with, uh, with Express. And so that I don't spend a lot of time on like server setup and whatnot for the back end, I'm gonna just be running this in uh, RunKit. And RunKit is a uh, like a, an, an online environment for running Node.js uh, apps. And it's super cool. I like it a lot and it's um, awesome for, for testing and prototyping. And I think it'll just make things simple for what we're doing today. So if you go to runkit.com slash dabble lab, that you'll see a list of our uh, notebooks that are out there. And this first one is the one that we're looking for, this Alexa Express adapter example. And if you go to that, um, this is the this is the code. So uh, this is what our really super simple Express uh, app looks like right now. And, and you can see that it's using the Ask SDK um, along with Express and the Express adapter. And right now there's just this one intent handler here, this launch request uh, intent handler. So it's not doing a whole lot. It's just when you launch the skill, it's gonna respond with hello from Express running on Typekit. Of course, you could uh, create all of your intent handlers here. I'm not doing that just to keep it, uh, keep it simple. Um, but then uh, we've got express listenings for the, the requests that come in from uh, the Alexa service. So when the Alexa request comes in, we'll, uh, we'll get the response here. So um, what we need is we need the endpoint for this service. And you can get that by just going to uh, endpoint here. And it will redirect. We're getting an, uh, an error only because there's not a, a request going. So normally the Alexa service would send a request, but that doesn't matter for right now. We just need the URL. So just copy the URL and then head over to the Alexa developer console. And you can get there um, by going to developer.amazon.com. If you don't have an Amazon developer account, you'll need to create one and log in and then navigate to the Alexa developer console, which is where we are right now. And then we're going to create a new skill um, and I'm going to just call this express example and we can leave the default. So this is going to be a custom skill and we're going to use this uh, default option, which is provision your own because we're using express as our back end. And so we want to go create skill. And then we're going to go from scratch. And then here uh, we need to change the endpoint. So, or we need to set an endpoint. So we come down here to endpoints and our endpoint is not Lambda. It is just a HTTPS external endpoint. And so we're gonna paste in the endpoint URL that we copied for that uh, run kit um, function. And then the SSL certificate type is the second one here, which is the uh, wildcard certificate from a certificate authority. So you wanna select that and then save the endpoint. And the only other thing that we need to do just to make this simple skill work is we need to add uh, an intent and it could be anything. We're just gonna use the launch phrase. So I'll just say example intent and anything here. And this is really just so the model will build. And then I'm gonna save the model and build the model. And then once this is done building, we can, uh, we can test it. and see it all work. And then I'll um, go back and, and talk through the code a little bit. Actually, I'll talk through the code a little bit while this is happening. So um, so back over here, this, um, like I mentioned, this is really, if you're familiar with creating uh, Alexa skills, this is really pretty much the same code that you would have in a Lambda function. 
with a, a little bit of wiring just to get Express working. So the really the only uh, big differences are just that you need to require Express and the R Express adapter and um, create an instance of Express, which I'm doing here on line five, and then create an instance of the, uh, the skill builder here. Um, and it's a custom instance. And then you would just register your handlers as you would do if you were doing this within a, uh, a Lambda function. And um, the only other difference is this line 29 down here. So you uh, create an instance of the uh, Express adapter here, and then um, you are going to create uh, routes basically for Express that in this case, there's just this one route, which is the default route, which is going to use the uh, get response handlers um, method from the adapter to respond back to the Alexa skill request. So let's try it out. I'm sure that's probably done building by now. It is, and so we'll go over here and test. And um, we'll just say express example. Hello from Express running on typekit.com. So that's it. Um, like I said, uh, pretty straightforward. The in a production environment, you likely would not be running your backend on uh, on RunKit, but RunKit is a really great environment for prototyping and, and testing stuff out, which is why uh, I wanted to use it for this tutorial. So if you've cloned our example here on Typekit, you, you want to if you if you haven't used Typekit, sign up and get your own account, and then you can um, you can clone the example, edit it, and then um, you would want to go to your endpoint, of course. Like after you make your edits, go to endpoint and then just replace the, uh, the endpoint over here with the endpoint for your function. And then you can just make changes and test those changes. And, uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's that easy. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave those and I will respond just as quickly as I can. Thanks so much.